Hello and welcome to the physics mechanics solver for your TID4 plus CE or, or your TID4 plus CE Python calculator. We're just going to be walking through some basic problems just to show you the uh, versatility of the program. So what you can do is go to any topic and solve um, for the equation for any variable that's missing, which is pretty cool. It rearranges it for you and gives you the answer. So um, we've got kinematics, dynamics, work and energy and whatnot. I'm going to walk through some examples in the background so you can see the extent to which the program can help you for your for your physics exam probably your ap physics one because that's coming up friday of this week um dynamics we've got a variety of equations here and again you can solve not just f equals ma but we can do a equals f over m um, just plug in your values and you'll get the answer and it will rearrange the equation um, for the equation that you need so um and, and you can see i don't need to <laughs> explain the numbers in the background i think you see it's it's a pretty valuable program um, a lot of people do like it it's one of the best sellers the uh, physics solver program and when you do get the program what you'll do is you'll get a link um, that works and then um, you just type in your email and then type in the code you have and boom you get the dot 8xp file and then you're just going to load it in your calculator but be careful, make sure you have at least, I think the program itself takes about 55K of memory. So you're probably gonna need like 60 to 65K of memory because what happens is as you go through iterations of the program, it stores variable, sorry, variable values. And then that takes up memory in the calculator itself. So you just wanna be careful and make sure you do have at least um, this probably 65K of memory as the program is right now as of uh, May 14th, 2025. But look, as you can see, uh, a variety of topics. We even have a more menu. I haven't even gotten to that yet in the video. But you can see it solves for all kinds of things. There's also help menus um, that explain all the uh, equations and formulas that are used for certain topics. And uh, Again, about, I'd say, 90, 95% of uh, the formulas are rearranged for you to solve for any variable. I think there are two or three that are not. So, um, you know, forgive me for that. Um, I'll do that in a future iteration. But if you're looking to take your final sometime in May or June of 2025, um, that may be uh, too late for you. Sorry about that. But look, it's a, it's a physics mechanics solver. It is pretty good. Um, it is, it is pretty amazing. People do like it, and it does work. And again, you do need a TID4 plus CE or TID4 plus CE Python calculator. You will need at least 65K of available RAM, 55K um, just to load it, and then another uh, 10K to go through it. Um, so just make sure you do have that memory available. And I hope the program works for you. Um, please leave a comment if, if you do have a question about a type of program, or sorry, type of, if you have a question about a type of question it could address or, or not address, let me know. Um, and again, this is, this is algebra-based. This is not calculus-based physics. So if you are taking Physics C, it's probably not going to be a very big help to you. It's more for uh, the AP Physics 1 or any algebra-based physics class whether you're in high school, um, college, or university in the States or elsewhere. And the great thing is uh, for you AP physics students, I know back in the day you guys switched to G equals 10. You can set G equals to anything you want um, for any equation using G, um, meaning the force of gravity. Otherwise, there's like the big G in the universal gravitation. Um, but look, if again, if you have questions, please post in the comments. I'm happy to address them. Give me time. I'm not online 24-7. Uh, um, if you do have questions that you post uh, on YouTube or on the mcstutoring.com site, I do get back to people <laughs> as long as, you know, they're civil. I, I, I will get back to you, address your question. Um, just give me time. And also, by the way, if you're having trouble downloading this or any trouble with the program at all, go through the troubleshooting. Um, there's a tab under the references and I'll include it in, in the description. So if you check out the troubleshooting, it'll cover probably 95% of your problems. Um, it talks about how you download it or how, how you upload it onto your calculator um, and then how to run it. And if you do run into errors while running it, what to do. 
Um, and again, always keep the .8xp file. These are .8xp files. Keep one on your desktop or laptop. That's going to be your hard copy. But again, if, if something does happen to it, it's working, then all of a sudden it's not working, let me know um, and make sure you, you announce, I mean, obviously who you are, your name, your email, most importantly, the order number and the program you're talking about. And I can, I'm happy to check my records and manually email you the most recent version of the program. And by the way, um, I know I sound like a Baptist preacher. I'm just going to say one more thing. Okay, so the the one more thing here is that there are free updates for life. It, it isn't a 100% thing. It's like an 80% thing. Sometimes the emails go into a spam box, but you will get emailed um, free updates to the programs as they come out. If you do check, and again, there's on the mcstutoring.com site, you can check for the most recent updates. And if your version doesn't match the most updated version um, and you haven't received an email update, let me know. Um, and again, include name, email, name of the product, but most importantly, the uh, order number, because that's how um, I can easily identify you and, and see what program you have. I'm happy to give you a manual update. I do that for people all the time. Okay. Take care, um, good luck in all your physics tests, and we do have stuff for chemistry, um, math, and the SAT math. So look, good luck, talk to you next time.